gonna buy you a diamond. Look at that. That was an amazing, amazing picture on your screen right there. I was trying to imagine how our next guest might somehow take that picture and put it down in a little tiny canvas about that big right there. It's quite a specialty, and Michael Summers is fantastic at it. He's been working here in the studio this morning. Good to see you, Michael. Hi. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing really well. Good. Um, we're going to talk about why you're doing miniature uh, paintings here in just a few minutes, but first off, I just want to talk about the, the challenge of taking something out of the world that's so big and bringing it down so small and focusing it on such a small canvas. Well, it's definitely a unique challenge. Um, typically, when painting, I work on a much larger scale, we're working with brushes that are, you know, this right. size or this size. Yeah, um, well, see, to me, I mean, I, I think murals, you know, I think, uh, you know, filling the entire sides of buildings and so forth. Absolutely. But this, this is the intricate kind of stuff that you can get up as close as you can get to it and it doesn't spoil the effect. And that's part of the charm for me. I really enjoy working on something where every single brush stroke that you make is important. I don't feel like you're spending any time just filling in space. Every, every single little brush stroke that you make affects the entire, the entire effect of the painting itself. And every one is so important when you get up and you look closely, and on the scale people certainly will, then, uh, then you feel like it just, it just avoids the, uh, the time spent like filling in space or, or the, the kind of unnecessary steps. Right. Are, well, this is a beautiful work that you're working on. Here. Just talk to me about that in particular. Well, this is an image that I'm working on for, uh, for the miniature show at the Exclusive Collections Gallery this weekend. It's, uh, the fourth, fifth, and sixth, and uh, this kind of pop surrealism is the style of work that I do, where you try to take images that are kind of dreamlike in appearance, like the unlikely and the, the surreal, and make it as realistic and as plausible as possible in the final effect. And uh, it has kind of an Alice in Wonderland quality to it. I don't know how else to describe it. Absolutely, it's. Uh, with pop surrealism, you take all of the pop culture imagery you can and incorporate that into these dreamlike images. So Alice in Wonderland is a reoccurring theme in a lot of my work. Beautiful. Along with... Uh, well, now, now that we talked about the fact that you are working in miniature and the challenges of it, uh, the why of it. You've got a very, very wonderful cause that you're working on here. Absolutely. Uh, we're... Uh, 14 artists have gotten together to create these uh, miniature 3x3 three three paintings that are going to be sold in a silent auction. And that's going to go to benefit the, uh, the Angel Foster Families Network.